Hey gamers, welcome back to my channel. This is Gagan Singh from Ludhiana and we are playing Mass Effect Andromeda. Actually, I am playing this game for the first time and uh, you know, we have already done a couple of things in the game and we have scouted the ship and uh, we have, uh, you know, we have got the Tempest and uh, that EOS mission, that first base that we have to, you know, kind of like uh, uh, establish. We done that and uh, so yeah, let's just play this game on my Legion 5 Pro. So yeah. Let's just dive into the game. I don't know what's gonna happen. You know? Okay. Galaxy map. That's the signature. So, uh. Landing zone EOS. How do we actually kind of like you know system view? Okay. Anomaly detected. Where? Over here? I don't know, I just kind of like you know. Oh my god, just look at this awesome Whoa ho ho whoa 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 <laughs> Come on, Star Wars, you can do this. Yeah, I love you, Mass Effect. Nothing on this planet. At least the scanner moves really fast. I don't know, yeah. Just less, you know. Anomaly detected. Where? It is kind of like, you know. I don't know where to go. I'm just gonna enjoy the view right now. Just wow, <laughs> like you know, supersonic. The way Goku flies. Come on, man. That's beautiful, man. Again, on this planet. I have to go back again. Disembark the tempest. Yeah, I don't know. I think I have to go there because you know kind of like Okay, we have a couple of characters that were unlocked. What is this? What difference does it make here? Should we go with Vitra? Drac, Vetra, this is unknown. Let's just take her this time, you know. Let's see what happens. Damn, her height is like super. Come from loadout. Okay. <coughs> the scent is green. Pure meeting. Path is calm. Just look at this new suit, baby. Yeah. The helmet is still on for some reason, but uh, both of these ladies are not wearing it. But this suit looks really cool, man. Yeah. Just like the N7 uh, suit. What is this girl doing, man? It's a girl, right? I thought she had, you know. Kind of like a mustache. What is he? Is she drunk? Whoa! 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 Punjabi! <laughs> what is he doing? I don't know the same. I don't know the same. Oh, bala bala! Oh, shava shava! So, obviously, uh, the only thing we have to do is like, you know, we have to go to the Tempest. Then why did it, you know, kind of like uh, showed that uh, we have to? That cannot be called here. I don't think we we were supposed to come back. <laughs> that was a mistake, guys. I'm sorry. I think because the nav point only shows that. Uh, yeah. Ascent is go. Leaving at all clear. Okay, so 
So he's also cute. Okay, where do we have to go? Where do we have to go, man? Where do we have to go? I'm picking up something. Oh! Probes launched. Tracking a huge mineral deposit. That's what I uh, kind of like, you know. Suvi was telling us, but I thought it's okay. It's my first day. Wow! Second day of traveling. Oh wow! <laughs> That's beautiful. Man. How did they track this man? Obviously, we have to go back and uh, cluster map. Yeah, I think we we'll set up yours. So let's just you know, kind of like uh, go to a couple of other systems. The way camera moves, man, this is so beautiful, amazing. Warp drive. So this is where the human arc first entered Helios? Heck of a wake up call. Oh yeah, this is the, you know, strange cloud actually. Anomaly on sensors. Probe away. Damn, I found that... something. What? Shuttle spotted. Drifting. Starship? It sustained catastrophic electrical damage. A sh shuttle spotted? Damn man, look at this scary dark energy type of cloud yaar, what is this? Wow. Whoa. 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 That's the research vessel Dr. Aridano informed us of. There are no life readings within. She'll want to know. Look at this, this is still moving actually, you know, like, uh, kind of like, you know, that those grass weeds underwater in the ocean, kind of like that. But it's, it looks scary, man, no doubt about it. Look at that. I, I never wanted to, I would never love to, love to? I would never dream of, you know, kind of like, be, being here, man, that's just amazing. Really scary. Ugh. So, yeah. Habitat 7 and all that. So this is Habitat 7. Now, huh? why did we? You are here. Yes. Uh, I think we have to go there only because the nav point is showing that. Again, amazing view. Man, I get excited every time. Oh yes. Familiar territory. The Nexus has been here for months. Still not enough time to survey it all. This is the Nexus, right? Anomaly on sensors. Probe away. Anomaly found. Element zero. Let's just, you know, kind of like dive in. You can actually skip this part, but uh, no. I think it looks cool, man. It looks beautiful. Oh, orgasmic man, so beautiful. What is this? Blue star? Blue sun? Element zero deposits? So we have to go back to the Nexus, obviously we have to talk with a couple of people over there. Wow. My God. The Nexus is situated on a, above the, you know, kind of like a gas giant. Look at this beautiful system, man. How they will actually kind of like, you know, fix it. Yeah. 
Wow. Why a gas giant man? It should be, you know, kind of like it would have been safe. How did they get inside those atmospheric, you know, domes? What is that? Alright. Pathfinder, is it true? We're settling EOS. We've thought that before. But EOS is different now, right? Pathfinder. Alright, settle down. Give him space. Lieutenant Syax, Kendros's aide. They all wanted to see you. Real hope again. It's been a while. They've got a Pathfinder again. This is what we do. And you've done it splendidly. Professor Herrick, right? What you achieve with that remnant vault is unprecedented, Pathfinder. Impossible. With more military personnel out of stasis, those Ket won't get near your vault. Or our people. We've taken some hard knocks, but this proves we'll always get up again. Always. Well, what are you waiting for? There's a new world out there. Thank you, Ryder. Most people are kind of like, you know, appreciative. So maybe this is a... Uh, wow, a beautiful ship, man. Look at that. Okay. This is where we'll actually kind of like, you know, everyone is like, you know, looking at me. <laughs> Oh yeah, I'm a celebrity over here. Whoa, whoa, what are these? Turian VI. What is wrong with his head, man? It looks small. Is that a human VI, but it's not working? A Sari VI. I don't wanna talk with anyone. Right now, what is that? Human VI, okay. Let's just give it a try. Pathfinder, I'm glad you could stop by. Pardon the dust while we set everything up. She looks exactly the same as the... You know who. Why? How did you get this job? I was a sociologist in the Milky Way. While there were plenty of cultures to study, the books on them had all been written. There was nothing new I could add. So, when I heard about the initiative, I signed up right away. The idea of meeting new people, seeing how they've evolved, adapted to life's challenges, I couldn't resist. What goes on here? The Cultural Center is a place where new races we've met can visit and exchange ideas. They can learn more about the Milky Way species, while we foster an air of cooperation and understanding. We're just getting everything ready. Hopefully, it won't be long before we have our first visitors. Have you heard anything about the cat? Unfortunately, yes. Now, that's a species we won't be inviting here anytime soon. I'd hoped our encounters would be peaceful, but I suppose that was too much to ask. Oh, you can actually change the camera angles. This is... and I'm finding out it. Thanks. And I'm of finding course, out our hope right is now. that you'll make friends in the cluster and send them our way. Okay. And when you have a second, check back with me on a favor I'd like to ask. Another favor? Just, just, just get out of here, man. I don't know. Why do people are asking so many favors from me? Vaults on the surface. Mr. Herrick. Pathfinder, those bio scans are superb. Could you gather more for our comparative conservation effort? Mm. What conservation effort? Ah, my thesis is on the console there. Broad strokes, we're comparing and preserving organisms from both galaxies. If you donate more bio scans and samples to the catalog, I can get you a finder's fee. Tempted? Mm.
Just for an anything we have just Let's just find Oh, uh, where do we can actually no These power outages just make no sense. A lot of people that you can talk and you know a lot of people look at you. Where do I have to go man? Did I started a side mission? I don't know man. What I do this thing? Why? Why would I do this thing? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. I don't know man. I'm not uh, really good at this. Ah. I don't know. Pathfinder has died. Alec Ryder was killed after touching down on Habitat 7 in the Ericsson system. Ryder's son has reportedly replaced him as Pathfinder, taking command of the Tempest in the ongoing search for a home in Andromeda. This is HNS. Still kind of like, you know, learning my ways over here. Captain done. Oh yeah, we can talk with her. Ryder. You're not on the bridge, Captain? We powered it down. Can't afford to waste energy. Though Cryo Bay and Sam Note are exempt. And I told them to keep their hands off Alex's quarters. You have access now. Thanks. Hey, sorry about your father. He was really good at what he did. Just not so good at working with people. He was right about going planet side, though. I wish you were still here. There's so much you could have taught me. You'll do fine. You're off to a good start. If there's anything else I can help with, let me know. Will you be bringing Hyperion folks out of stasis? That's my job. We're keeping it to specific personnel for now. Those who can help the Nexus get back on its feet. But with outpost settlement starting, we'll soon be able to wake up more. If someone had told you that you'd be in the Andromeda Cluster, even five years ago... Are you kidding me? I'd have laughed them out of the quadrant. Although, the way things are now isn't exactly what I was hoping for, either. We all knew there was a possibility on arrival of less than ideal circumstances. Mm. When you sign up, you hope for the best, and plan for the worst. That's good, Captain C. Why did you join the initiative? We're a long way from home. How could I not? I love my job. Coming here, all this, it was just a logical extension of what I already do. Sailing through new stars, discovering new worlds. What self-respecting explorer could pass that up? <laughs> yeah, she's right. Thanks for the talk. All right. I have requests to submit, administrators to harass, and people to wake up. <laughs> I'd better get to it. Good luck out there. Okay, thank you so much. Uh... Oh man, just let me just check the map. Hey. Where do I have to go? Meet Kerry. Look to so yeah. These are additional tasks. You know what? Priority. These are critical missions so I will in the helios, allies and relationships the mission of personal importance to Pathfinder and Tempest School. Let's speak with Addison first, yeah. It took me a while to get hang of the you know citadel, so now obviously now this she is standing over there. Relax, Addison. You've shaken things up, Pathfinder. My department actually has colonial affairs to direct. 
And you have new tools to help grow the initiative. AVP, ready for spending. Casual answer? No. I think I've, I will go with this uh, professional answer. Sam said there was new functionality to discuss. It's how the initiative was designed to support the Pathfinder. You and your team are out there making Andromeda viable. That empowers all of us. Hit a threshold. A new cryo group can be brought out. Want more security, like you chose at Prodromos? That's your call. Brecca will introduce the interface and handle minutia. All you need to do is decide what life in Andromeda means. No pressure. That's awkwardly close. So obviously, Vladimir Braka. Hello, Pathfinder. I am Cryo Deployment Administrator Vladimir Breka, C63 Galati. Your first task is to decide irrevocably the course of every life in the initiative. Whoa, that seems like too much. Yes, of course. But now you respect what we're doing. Andromeda viability and nexus thresholds are your tools, your reward, and our future. How can I help? What's the rundown on AVP? Much of the preparation in the Milky Way was determining how to measure success. Thresholds are about capacity, but this is about cost, what we can actually afford to support. Points aren't the most elegant system, but it makes it clear. The more you earn, the more we can deploy. How are you measuring thresholds? It's based on resource estimates and general stability. A metric of acceptable scope and risk. The more you achieve, the greater capacity we can accommodate, the more the initiative can do for you. Simplest explanation? The more you do, the more room we have to grow. So, I decide what groups to wake up. Won't everyone be out eventually? Absolutely. But there's an order to things. A lines of support. You can't deploy an omelette without first deploying eggs. And eggs won't get you steak. Except it's people, and how all our lives begin. All right, Brecca. Where do I start? The interface is active and will respond only to a Pathfinder. It's ready for your first selection. You may begin shaping the initiative at your leisure. Hmm. Someone was talking Hello. with me and I... Director Tan is expecting you. Last time I was here, this was a storage closet. Pathfinder Hall just needed a Pathfinder to open. We're still getting the commons area ready. Hydroponics is only a partial capacity. Not good enough. We don't have enough people. My workers need a break, Tan. I sympathize, but not until our survival is no longer at risk. Now please excuse me while I meet with our Pathfinder. Hey, Ryder. Addison told me about the outpost. You're the hero of the hour. Let's hold off on the celebration. We haven't found home yet. Oh, there's no need for modesty. Success affords leverage over those who doubted you. And you're my best friend? A patron. One who shares your vision of a prosperous future. I suppose we agree on that much. I knew that given a chance, your talents would emerge. Deciphering the vault, alien terraforming, 
It's not how we imagined all this, but a good Pathfinder improvises. And a great one hangs it on the wall. Mm. Yours are the first trophies to grace Pathfinder Hall. You're a symbol now, Ryder. A reason for people to believe. It wouldn't have been possible without my crew. They're a talented bunch. But you're their beacon. Careful. You'll end up adopting you, Ryder. Ah, my staff. Colleagues, you wouldn't be looking to cut us out, would you, Tan? I remind you, I am the director of the initiative. Acting director. This isn't the time for arguing over who gets to be king. Too much is at stake. We should be cooperating. That's what I've been saying since we arrived. Then I look forward to winning our Pathfinder support. Though I worry about your decision on Eos, Ryder. A military outpost won't help feed the Nexus, not the way scientists might have. But it will protect us from a growing list of threats. And we could argue about it all day long, as we always do. The decision was made. Now we move on. What is your plan for moving on, Ryder? We have a lead on the terraforming network. I need to take the Tempest deeper into the sector to investigate. If the other Golden Worlds are where they should be, this could get us closer to them. Careful. The Ked are scouring the cluster for remnant technology. You'll end up in a fight, for sure. You might also run into exiles. They didn't leave the Nexus on good terms. And we still need more outposts. They're important to expanding the station. Though with Ark still missing, this could be a chance for Ryder to search for them. Yes, I think that's best. You have my permission. Thank you, Director. I'll get on it. May you light the torch that finds the path. Pathfinder. Ugh. Right. Yo, man. Ryder, this is Harry, back on the Ark. Go ahead. We may have found a way to talk to your sister, sort of. Drop by when you can. Hyperion Medbay. Will do. Where is that hospital, man? I have to go to the map. Not helping, man. What is this, yaar? Help you? Pathfinder Rider, here to see Nilk and Rensis. Ah! Our murderer. Wife's here all the time. Guess she told you her sob story. Nilkun, you're moving up in the world. There's a Pathfinder wanted to chat with you. The Pathfinder, huh? They called in the big guns to exile Andromeda's first murderer. Your wife's all broken up over this. She says you didn't do it, and that she loves you. <sighs> She's a wonderful person. At this point, it's too late. They found me guilty. Why don't you tell me what happened? I was part of the futile effort to set up a colony on Eos. We were on our last legs, overrun by hostiles, our leader dead. The security chief, Reynolds, my friend, he refused to call for evacuation. I argued with him. Everyone saw. Last I checked, getting into a spat wasn't against the law. There's more. He ordered us to regroup and counterattack. We were moving through a sandstorm. I saw movement, thought it was the cat, and I, I guess I panicked and fired. A witness saw the chief's chest explode. I'm so sorry, that's awful. We were close. He was a stubborn son of a... I admired that about him, but I was enraged when we argued. There is a recording, it's, it's ugly. Everyone's certain I did it on purpose so we could evacuate. Okay, all the Turian looks kind of like, you know, they look weird. Uh, I mean, obviously they they uh, the old humans. The, well, the old humans, obviously, uh, six hundred years ago. Uh, in the comics, actually, the humans call uh, in the first Turian War. You know, first contact war in Mass Effect. They call them the Skull Faces. You know, the Turians. But in this game, it it really looks like a skull man. Why? It's kind of like all the other graphics are amazing. 
Don't throw in the towel yet. I'll review the evidence. Maybe I can find something that'll help. That would be great. You're a Pathfinder. I'm sure Kandros would give you access. Maybe there's still hope. So find Kandros now. Hey, Ryder, I'd like a moment. Yes? Lieutenant Syax, right? That's me. I'm putting together Apex strike teams to protect the people and assets you're setting up out there. We don't have a good sense of what we're up against and could benefit from your experience. There's no replacement for first-hand experience. I agree, but your insights on the assholes out there would really help. You'll see. Apex will make a difference. Speak, Glad to see you finally. I hear you've been busy out there. That's one word for it. If you need anything, come see me, even if it's just a vent. I spoke with Nilkin Rensis, the man found guilty of the murder on Eos. Yes, our first murder here in Andromeda. I wish it had been our last. When the colony attempts failed, it didn't help spirits that a high-ranking officer was killed by one of our own. The mutiny here on Nexus was probably inevitable, but this acted as a spark. It doesn't seem right to put all that on him. Of course it isn't, but that's the perception. Despite the lack of physical evidence, everything added up. His only defense was, trust me, I didn't mean to do it. And you assume he's lying? What's a lie to a murderer? Look, knock yourself out. A key witness Cassidy Shaw works in operations, go ahead and talk to her. And there's a recording of the perpetrator threatening the victim. I'll let you cue it up on the console there. As far as I'm concerned, this case is closed. Mm. Bye, Kandros. Duty calls. You and me both, Pathfinder. Weekly injury report. What console this is? A good week. What is happening? There, there are actually so many things happening in the game. I'm trying to, you know, learn actually everything in the game. What is happening? What is it? Select. Okay. That's it. What console? Man, there is a console around here. The Nexus versus Colonist Milken, Evidence 7A. Hiram! Hiram! It sees the compound! Call for evacuation! We're not giving up, Milken. We're taking it back! No! I'm not letting your ego get us killed! Even if I have to. No! Get him off me! Get him off me! Weekly injury report. Minimum casualties. A good week. It's good that you can actually track the side story mission. Just a wait later, just a minute, lady. Cassidy Shaw, I'm Scott Ryder. I'm looking into the Nilkin murder case. Oh man, I thought that was over with. Have you heard the audio recording of their fight? Yes. I helped pull him off Chief Reynolds. You could see it in his eyes. He was gonna kill him. Then in the sandstorm, I had a pretty clear view of the chief. He looked right at Nilkin and shouted, no. Then his chest burst open. I'll never forget it. The look on his face was pure shock. Did you see any cat in the vicinity? Nilkin said so, but not that I could see. Still, the sandstorm was severe. Visibility wasn't great. Did Nilkin seem remorseful? I lost sight of Nilkin in the turmoil. When we found him, he seemed in shock. He couldn't speak. He looked nauseated. Could have been guilt. The reality of the act sinking in. If they'd fought and Nilkin threatened to kill him, why was Reynolds surprised? Friends fight, say things they don't mean, maybe even hurt each other. But you don't expect your best friend to shoot you. To me, that's the saddest part. The Chief's heart was broken right before it exploded. Damn. Reynolds was leading you back to retake the compound. Did you agree with that? It wasn't my place to agree or disagree. He was ranking officer. In retrospect, it is ironic. 
If he hadn't been killed, we all probably would have died. I appreciate the information. Of course. It kills me we had to leave him behind. He deserved a proper funeral. So the body was never examined? Important piece of a murder investigation. Tan wouldn't allow a mission to go back for him. Said it was too dangerous. Speak with Tan now again. Tan. This is not Tan. Where is Tan? Tan. Oh. You've had a Ryder. You're off to a promising start. I meant what I said. You are a symbol now of hope that things will get better. Though I worry about this terraforming network. What do we really know about it? It's like nothing we've ever seen. It's clear somebody had big plans for this cluster. But who? Not sure yet, but at least we're on the trail. Did you have some other business? I'm looking into the Nilk and Rensis murder charge. And? I want to go to Eos and retrieve Chief Reynolds' body. That isn't usually Pathfinder business. First murder in Andromeda, and I'm impartial. Figured you'd want to get it right. I think we already have. Though physical evidence will only bolster the case. The more certain we can be, the better. All right, but let's keep it quiet. I don't want people thinking we're reopening the case. I hope anything you find reaffirms what's been done, but if it sheds a different light, we'll deal with it. We'll send the coordinates of the murder scene. Good luck. That's all. Thanks for your time. Of course. Okay, we can now actually investigate. Whoa! <laughs> the body. You still cannot jump actually, but uh, okay, this lady wants to talk with me. Ryder, isn't it? Carrie Tvesa, freelance vid maker. This is Hakim, my producer. I could use your help. What are you looking for? Director Tans asked for an uplifting documentary on the initiative. Translation, paint rainbows over our problems. But our problems are history. People deserve the truth, not propaganda. Maybe a crisis is the time for hope, rather than hard truths. That was Tan's angle. But if we pretend everything's fine, who does that truly serve? The heart of my documentary will be an interview series. I was hoping you'd take part. I want the dirt and blood of our story, not the convenient fairy tale Tan's looking for. Interested? Okay, interview away. Let's start at home. 14 months and the Nexus still isn't finished. Arcs are missing, we have people in exile. By any standard, this wasn't the plan. Our leadership describes these as anticipated issues. Would you agree? All expeditions have to deal with supplies, enemies, or hell, just getting lost. We'll deal with all of them. We just need time. Tan will love that. But if that's your take, that's what goes in. Bandwidth means I'm transmitting in short bursts, so that's all for now. But you can bet I'll have more questions later. You were great. I'll get to work editing. Mm -hmm. Any logistics updates are due within the hour. Do I have to talk with Edison now again? When will we start the missions, man? I mean. Good job on the outpost. Maybe Addison will lighten up. What do you mean? She's been pretty upset about not having an initiative outpost established yet. Understandable, if you ask me. I'm just glad she's got work to focus on now. Nothing more for now. See you later. Where is her office, man?
Yeah, that's all kind of like office, you know. What? Where is her office? Now it's downstairs. And now it's... What does that mean man? It can only mean one thing and one thing only. Yep. The tramp. Docking Bay. Pathfinder has died. Alec Ryder was killed after touching down on Habitat 7 in the Ericsson system. Ryder's son has reportedly replaced him as Pathfinder, taking command of the Tempest in the ongoing search for a home in Andromeda. This is HNS. What? We have to go to. Obviously, let's just, you know. Yeah, just go to the Tempest, man. I don't wanna. Sure. Why not? I mean, okay. Where was Cora? What is this guy doing, man? Wow, you're so damn shiny. <laughs> Be nice to keep her that way a little longer. You reject. Report from the Nexus. Population's growing as people wake up. Lots of hopefuls waiting for a home. Bradley will have all the help he can take. They'll be starting crops soon. Can't tell if they have enough water or too much. I grew up on a little cargo freighter. Only saw gardens and vids, but I always loved them. I daydreamed about planting a big rose garden when we got here and still imagine it sometimes. Roses in Helios. So there's a heart soft as rose petals under that uniform. I got plenty under here, pal. Does the big bad Pathfinder have a soft spot too? They might. For certain someone's. Good to know. We've all got our something. I didn't for a while. After I left the Asari Commandos, well, I didn't leave. My mentor, Nasira, said I should go. Why? The initiative would suit you better, was all she said. Being a hunter suited me fine, but she insisted. Wow. You fight side by side and then she gives you the brush off? It hurt. One big kick out of the nest. Still, that's familiar. When your biotics are honed into hunter's grade weapons, people can be weird about it. The initiative seemed better. Just didn't see how I'd fit into their brave new galaxy. I never fit anywhere before. Then I met some jerk named Ryder. Talked about traveling to Andromeda like he was teaching you how to see it. What part of that vision made you want to take the plunge? A civilization where everyone had a place. Even AI. Or an overpowered human biotic. Your father said, I get being different. Now imagine being welcome and making others like you welcome too. When I was 13, I could warp a steel girder. It made me wonder, what if someone had told me, that's okay? He gave you a dream to work toward. He was good at that. Who doesn't want to belong? Especially somewhere like the Initiative. So I gave the Initiative my all. Kept thinking of the niche I wanted. My rose garden. I thought I knew what I was going to be. This is about not taking over as Pathfinder? Didn't think it was still Sting. Miss Sarah, your father, even my parents. They leave, I'm left without answers. Nowhere to stand. 
I get that. We've all had a lot of disappointments lately. You're doing well. For having no training, being your second isn't so bad. And if that remnant tech pays off, maybe someday I'll have roses too. Ryder? See you later, Cora. I'll be here. Hmm. Strange talk. Let's just still her crack. Ryder, you meet Spender yet? Colonial Affairs, the ass in assistant director. Got no idea why Addison keeps him around. Spender lied to the Krogan during the uprising, and he's headed out for cash ever since. He's up to something. I just can't prove it. We should pay him a visit on the Nexus. What's it like to have Kesh as a granddaughter? Kesh is my Rushan, child of my blood. Raised her myself. Damn proud of her, too. She did good, even with me for a granddad. <laughs> She's honest. Definitely blunt. She had to take after me in some ways, I guess. Did Lexi brief you on Sam and squad connectivity yet? Yeah. You want to hook that thing up to my comm, sure, but that's where it stops. Putting an AI in your head, giving it access to everything like that, it's begging for trouble. Why do you say that? I've seen what bots can do when they turn on their creators. Been in some of those fights. There's a reason that kind of research was outlawed. Yeah. I was dismissed from the Alliance when news of what my dad was researching got out. No shit. Ruined the writer name, I'll bet. <laughs> Almost. I'm not thrilled about it myself, but it is what it is. Just make sure it can't unshackle itself. There'll be hell to pay if that happens. I'd like to know more about you. Fire away. How did you and Vetra meet? Huh, that's right. Your father brought you into the project pretty late, didn't he? Must have been a pretty steep learning curve since they thawed you out. You could say that. You make do with what you get. Anyway, I met Vetra back when we were building the Nexus. She swiped supplies I was trying to get for cash right under my nose. I tried to intimidate her into turning them over to me, and let me tell you, that Turian takes shit from no one. <laughs> she really has a way of getting things done. She sure does. But here's the best part. She waited until I saw her again in Kesh's office, no less, to tell me she'd been working for Kesh all along. They're both still laughing at me over that. Tell me more about the Krogan colony. My clan's there. We also got some scouts looking for any unclaimed territory to grab up. Got a decent setup going. Self-sustainable. It works. Even some farming. Farming? Krogan farm? Food's food. Just because we can eat anything doesn't mean we gotta settle for scraps. I'm pretty fond of Corkro roots myself. Takes a while to chew through those. So, about all this combat experience you have, I'd love some details. Ha! The list will be shorter if you ask me what experience I don't have. I've been doing this for a long time now. Centuries. Shit, well over a thousand years. Don't even know how I'm still alive, to be honest. Skill? You need luck to be a merc. Skill, sure, but a whole lot of luck. And a really hard head. Got any stories or advice to share? Does a pie jack scratch its butt? Anything about the cat? Or combat in general? Well, common cat are pretty straightforward. Hit them hard enough, they die like anything else. Tell me more about fighting cat. Wraiths are sneaky little shits, like to ghost up behind you when you least expect it. Just listen for them. They tend to give themselves away right before coming at you. 
<laughs> break through their head plates, then a headshot should do the trick. Tell me more about fighting Cat. Destined or annoying, quick. Got some crazy mist that hides them from view, their friends too. Take a Destin down, and that mist goes away. Makes them a prime target, if you ask me. Perfect for grenade practice. Why did the Krogan leave the Nexus? The Nexus got us Krogan to stop the mutiny. In return, we were supposed to get a say in station business. Spender, Addison's assistant, lied about the deal. And Tan came down hard. Too hard. So we left. Cash is alone on that station now. You think someone might try to hurt Cash? Ah, more like she airlocks Spender. Or he tries to stab her in the back, and then she airlocks him. Tan wouldn't listen to me when I told him Spender had a part in the mutiny. I had no proof. So what's my part in this? Things need to get sorted out, and my clan needs to get back on station, without Spender messing things up. Way I see it, you're probably the best one for that job. We can talk more later. Sure. Hey, one last thing. Yeah? Is everyone a kid to you? Ha, huh, when you get to be my age, yeah, pretty much. So, uh, Lexi, she is looking at us here. <clears throat> so we have a stowaway. You mean PB? She's decided to set up in one of the escape pods. You don't need a psychologist to tell you that one's got commitment issues. How do you think the crew is holding up? I'm happy to share what I can without violating patient confidentiality. Anyone in particular? I sort them in their files and my brain by species. How do you think the human crew members are handling things? There's a lot of them. How's Cora doing? She's processing. Your father was her mentor. She expected to follow in his footsteps, but he gave the role of Pathfinder to you. Just because she trusts his judgment doesn't mean she's not confused. Or hurt. I'd like to check in on the non-human crew. Ask away. Thanks for the insight. How did you get into medicine? My mom was a dancer on Omega. Dad was a bouncer. I'd patch him up after busy nights, discovered I had steady hands. They put every credit they earned into my education. Damn. Are they here in Helios? No. Both died in a turf war. Made leaving the Milky Way behind easier. I need to talk to you about something private. Of course. That's what I'm here for. When Dad died, he blocked off parts of Sam's memory. Things he didn't want me to see. Or he thought you weren't ready for. Maybe. I found this... trigger? It unlocked a... memory fragment of Dad on the Citadel. From when the Alliance rejected his ideas about AI, and he found out Mom's illness was terminal. Why do you think your father chose this specific memory? Who knows? Dad's always been one for secrets. But he's sharing them with you now. That's something. How long have you and Harry been friends? I remember when he didn't complain about arthritis. We met at a medical convention on the Citadel. He was moderating a panel on neurosurgery in low-gravity environments. His name card was crooked. But he was so damn confident, I knew we'd be friends. So, how did a sorry doctor end up on the human arc? Specialist in alien anatomy, remember? That includes humans. 
<laughs> also, Harry insisted. Maybe he always intended to switch jobs. I'll let you get back to it. I'll so you know what? You need me. Yeah. So this video also got a bit longer, yeah. I mean, I don't know. So yep. Guys, we will be doing the mission in the next video. Oh, how'd you get under there? Uh, Suvi, were you talking to your notebook? Oh, I was, wasn't I? I do that sometimes. Hello, Gil. When are you cleaning up that repair on the sensor console? I'm not. It's a redesign. A redesign? Without a trained crew? I'm trained and it's working great. Don't be so uptight. Everything okay? Oh, fine, fine. Don't worry about it. Cool. Let's just say hi to Subi also. I saw pictures of the vault. Astounding how big it is. And how much of it didn't you see? What if it's way bigger? What's all that space for? Wild remnant parties. What else would you use it for? Well, that's a thought. You don't really think they... Oh, joking. I see. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> when did you start believing in a god? My parents were both scientists. My home was ruled by rationality. So when I became a teenager, let's just say that while other kids find Batarian music, I found God. But your work as a scientist? Convinced me even more, especially when I got into molecular biology, physics. The patterns I kept seeing over and over again. They were like an artist's watermarks. God, to me, is an artist. An inventor. Not someone checking to see if I brush my teeth. <laughs> I take you work closely with the next science team? I try to keep in contact with them. We discuss anything and everything we discover out here. After all, many brains are better than one. And Dr. Aridana is worth two or three at least. I work best when I have other people to bounce ideas off of. What do you know about the Remnant's terraforming network? From what I can tell, the vault is designed to adjust almost everything about a planet. Climate, pH of the soil, atmosphere composition. There's even evidence that it can propagate life. If we can figure out how to control the vaults, we could turn these worlds into perfect habitats. What do you know about the Scourge? We established that it's artificial. Someone put it there. Or they did something that caused its creation. We don't know why. That's still a mystery. I should get back to things. Sounds good. So this is it for this video, guys. And uh, we will do the mission in the next one, obviously. Because uh, these videos are getting, like, you know, too long. Because this game is too detailed. And, you know, I, and I love that about, about this game. So, yeah. We'll go to that uh, that mission in the next one okay guys so to be continue till then stay safe stay blessed